Motors and welcome back to the Self Man Auto Channel. This is a 2009 Dodge Avenger with the big 2.4 in it. Needs a driver's side front wheel bearing. Thought I'd bring you along. Raw and uncut. Looks like our little cricket has moved back in. I hear him over there chirping. It is the season. Cricket season. I don't know if crickets have a season, but this seems to be the time of year little guys like to move in. So we're going to pull the wheel brake caliper. We already pulled the wheel. So we'll zip zap the brake caliper off. Let her dangle by the hose. Not really. You guys be all pumped up about that. Don't hang it by the hose though, seriously. We're going to take a little bit of pressure off the pad so when we put it back on it will be easier to reinstall. We'll hang her up here out of the way. Remove the rotor. Must have been an old SMA job. Still got some uh, muscle grease on there. Or muscle, depending on how you pronounce it. Looks like an original bearing. Maybe we'll give it a full douching of some croil. Use whatever flavor you like. As long as you let it set for at least five seconds. And then complaining, like, penetrating oil never works, man. Well, it never works for me because we usually don't have the time to let it work. like a tiger. Oh. oh, what do we got here? 15s, I think, on the back, probably. Oh, lucky, lucky. First try. boots a little close so be careful you know particularly if you're using a deep socket if the boots a little cruddy you'll split it commenting in my one video. I think it was my last one. Where are you going? That I should build a special room for my air compressor. So it's not loud. When I'm making movies. Uh, I run a shop, not a freaking movie studio. Whoa, fella. You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? So I'm not too worried about it. If you're not worried about it, I'm not worried about it. It does always seem to come on at the most opportune times though. Pretty much almost done. I'm thinking these parts where I move the cart, that's usually where I cut it out. But all right, wheel bearing, it's time to say hello to my little friend. Better get some earmuffs on. Safety third. I want to be deaf.
Out she comes. There it is. There it goes. To scrap metal heaven. The song I made up. for the girls I run with. Which don't include any because I'm married. Just misses though. We're kind of old so we don't run much anymore. Maybe a hustle, do a little hustle. That's definitely not a full on run. My dad used to always tell me, boy, I can run faster mad than you can scared. <laughs> Wasn't that the truth? But he's older now, so I'd like to take him up on that challenge. Oh, shoot. We almost forgot that. One of the easier bearings you'll change in your life. Oh, blow it out. There she is. My little blower. They watch the videos and leave nasty comments. Usually on my wheel bearing removal technique, call me a hack and an a-hole and say, you don't have to beat that off, you're an idiot, you're a moron. <laughs> oh, I would love to see them come to upstate New York and work on some crust. Sit back and watch the comedy show. So I got us a new bearing here from Napper. Or is it, there's the number in case you're doing this yourself. Want to get an SKF bearing? Your choice of China, I guess. Oh, no, I'm sorry, this is Korean. My bad. This one does have the pickup ring for ABS, even though this is a non-ABS vehicle. They don't really give you the option when purchasing them. However, I have found that sometimes if they do, the ABS bearing sometimes is often $20 cheaper or so than a, you know, non-ABS. I don't know if it's based on popularity or whatever, but uh, I find myself more often than not installing a ABS hub assembly on a non-ABS vehicle. They're exactly the same, you know, just sometimes on GMs they come with the speed sensor and whatnot. You're in my way. So we'll do, do that. And oftentimes even on GMs, uh, you know, they've got the wire dangling off them. And the non-ABS car will actually even have the bracket for the wire. So I just clip, clip the wire in the bracket or chop it off, whatever you want to do with it. Chop it off. That's what I always tell Mrs. Dolan when she's chasing around. Leave it alone. So what do you want me to do? Chop it off? <laughs> Come on, Lee. Set our torque wrench to three hugga duggas.
want to move again. Jeez, you guys are demanding. It's your fault for wanting the raw and cut videos. Used to be able to milk it, kind of add some interesting fat. Sounds like it should be a really cool car, like some bass. Avenger. Oh. Really not though. It's like one step above the K car. Keep it from going crusty in the hub. Do to do. Weird big dog. Bring up dog. Well this one ain't the dog. This is the nano, but this is the bigger nano. On one Ugga Dugga, off a half of Ugga Dugga. Now I'm going to play this pry bar. I used to have Hannah to get my tools. Not no more. Gone forever. I suppose she might come back on some of her college breaks this year, but after next spring, I guess, or whenever college kids get out, officially be a nurse need any nurse stuff done. Hopefully I don't in the near future, but you never know. Just be able to mend a broken bone and change your oil if you need it. We'll give that a little toot. Let's find our rotor over here on the floor. Make sure the hat on the inside is clean. Now this one is because of, oh, I got a steeds. <coughs> <sighs> Must be allergic to work because you're all over the day. Yeah, you don't want any rusty crusties in here that can hold the rotor cattywampus causing a little shimmy in the brakes. So that is clean. I'll stick that up there and grab one of these nuts. I use old, I keep old axle nuts on all four corners of the lift. They work great for taking up space and holding on rotors. Little trick grandma taught me. There's that. There's some bolts, we do. And of course, if it needs brakes, you know, now's the time to do it. These brakes are still in nice shape, probably at least 50% from the looks of it. Worn even. Um, there's that. Torque setting three. Ah, I think that's about it, right? I suppose I'll put the wheel on. Not much to wheel bearings, folks. Oh, that's great. Hey, look at that bounce land around the cart. I've kind of done that twice. Well, maybe. But not twice in a row, I don't think. Would be my assumption. Move you up here. Let me give it a little. Oh. Keep the wheel from getting stuck. Of course, this has steel wheels on it, so they're not as prone to seizing on the hub pilot as aluminum wheels or alloy. Because if I call them aluminum, somebody's gonna be like, "Bro, they're made out of you know whatever." I don't even know any other soft metal tungsten or something. I don't know. Who knows? Wheels aren't open. That's okay. Magnesium. I guess that magnesium would be close to aluminium. Probably should have paid attention in science class, but I didn't. 
We got a torch stick anywhere? Here's one. I should start some good arguments. It always does. Beautiful. Just need to take a shimmy now. Now in the row ad. All right, folks, there you go. That is your raw, uncut wheel bearing change. Didn't really work out like I wanted it to. I'm a Dodge Avenger. <laughs> That's funny. It's like a farmer's team in reverse. Uh, pretty, pretty easy to do. Not too big a deal. If you don't live in the Rust Belt, it's probably literally a five minute job. Uh, but here, the bearing does tend to seize in the steering knuckle, so that's why I used my little Astro. What model is this? 2160, three quarter horsepower. This thing is a hoss. And I always just use a carbide burr on it, which conveniently are also Astro, the 2181. Fantastic bit of kit. I've yet to wear one of these suckers out, and I use them often. I don't use all of them. Uh, well, my main three are this one, this one, and the one I'm using. Um, and that's about it. Don't really know what else to say. I'll leave links to the tools in the video in the description box or pinned in a comment or somewhere down there where you'll find them. And while you're down there looking for those, click subscribe, ring the bell, find us around socials, patron, all that business. And just remember, viewers, if I can do it, you can do it. Thanks for watching.